another thing that is a hot topic in the U.S., especially in youth football right now, and that is about the change of the cutoff date, the registration date, uh, January 1. Yes. And um, the, the, the good thing is that um, in, uh, in, in, in 1999, we had the same in Holland. They changed the cutoff date from uh, October 1 to uh, January 1. And it happened during a big study, a 12-year study that I did in, uh, in the Dutch Youth Academy system. All the 36 youth professional youth academies participated. So I have a database of uh, more than 10,000 uh, Dutch youth players. And all the Dutch national team players that played the, the World Cup semi-final in Brazil in 2014, all of these players are in that study. And um, in the middle of that study, uh, they changed the cutoff date. So my first initial reaction was that they were destroying my study and that I had to start all over again. But uh, after a few years, I found out that this change of cutoff date in the middle of my study was the best thing, best thing that could have happened. Because now I had data before the change and I had data after the change of the cutoff date. And now I could compare and I could analyze the short and long term consequences, both positively and negatively, of this cutoff uh, change. And, um, and the same thing is happening in the US right now. So in the second block of the course, I will present. Uh, this study that we did in, in Holland, and I will explain what coaches in the U.S. can expect because of the change of the cutoff date uh, in this year. And one of the things that I will explain is that we found in this Dutch study that especially younger players who are born in October, November, December, that they will struggle uh, because of this change. And uh, in fact, we found that uh, these players often uh, suffer a growth deficiency. So they will grow less than they should grow in 12 months. And as a result, they will develop into smaller adults because the off season is too short to catch up. And by the time they are 18, 19, 20 years old, they have become smaller adults than they should have been. And obviously that is a, a big ethical issue. 